What's up guys, Jordan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can transfer your worlds and all your data in Minecraft Pocket Edition from one iOS device to a another. The first thing you will need to do is you'll need to download a program. The link is in the description and it is called Disk Aid. And even if you don't want to do this, um, if you're just watching this video because it popped up in your feed, um, definitely download Disk Aid. It is such a awesome, cool, powerful program. Uh, I'll show you in just a bit, but uh, go ahead, click download. Then it'll download. Once it's all done downloading, go ahead and open up the DMG, click agree, and then go ahead and drag it into your applications folder. Now go ahead and open up disk aid. So the first thing you'll need to do is plug in your iOS device. Once that's done, this screen will pop up. Now you'll notice that there's locks on camera roll, photos, and all these other items. You can't transfer any data from these uh, th these sections on your phone without uh, purchasing Discade. But in the free version, you do have access to apps, and that's what we need. So you can go ahead and click right there, or you can go over here to storage and then go in this way. But anyways, uh, this shows all the different apps on your device and all the information with them. So go down to Minecraft PE right here, and then games, and then com.mohan, Minecraft worlds, and then right here, um, I was just playing this one a little bit ago. So today at 9.49 was the last time this data was modified. So we know that it's current and up to date. Um, so just to be safe, I'm just gonna select games and hit copy to Mac. And then, then I'm gonna choose my external hard drive. I've already created this folder right here and already created a Minecraft PE folder, then hit choose. And then you can see it's copying all that information to my external hard drive. Now, how do we get it back onto uh, the new iPhone or the new iOS device? Well, uh, let's just pretend that uh, this, my iPhone 5 is a new device. Let's pretend that I've wiped it. Um, it's the exact same thing, you go in, uh, go to storage and go into apps and you'll need to have re-downloaded Minecraft on to your device and then go up to the top once you have Minecraft P selected and hit copy to device. And I'll give you this browser and then uh, navigate to wherever that file is and then hit select and then it'll copy it into that spot and it'll work like a charm and then you'll have your Minecraft PE, all your worlds and everything on your new device. And uh, I'm just gonna stop it because it was the name, it was named the same thing. So I'm not gonna uh, mess with like overriding it. So anyways, that's how you do it. You simply uh, drill down in to the storage on your iOS device, copy that folder games, to an external hard drive and then copy it back. And I assume uh, that would work for most uh, different things like, uh, let's go to FIFA real quick. Yeah, I assume if I copied all of this information to a folder and then copied it back in once I restore, everything will be back to normal. So it does take some time, but there, if there are specific apps that you have a lot of data stored in them and you don't want to have to uh, restore from a backup, you can actually go in and get uh, specific items. Same thing for all the messages, uh, voicemails, all those things, but you do have to uh, pay for those if you want to transfer them. But anyways, guys, trust this video helped you out. More importantly, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video real soon. Later.